A large aquarium tank, eight feet long, three feet wide, and six feet deep is full of water. First of all, we're gonna determine how much work is required to pump the water out with a pipe that is five feet above the top of the aquarium. So let's go ahead and draw our aquarium here. That tank keeps going back there. All right, and we're going to put an axis on here, and I'm going to put the origin at the bottom of the tank, kind of centered in the middle there. And the things that we know is this is eight feet long. This whole distance here is three feet, and we're going to have this be zero, and this is it's six feet deep. We've got a pipe up here that's five feet above that, so it's going to be at our point that's 11. All right, now when we figure out pumping, we're going to look at some slice of the water in the tank at some level. So let's look at this level right here and kind of think of what this little slice would look like. And we would have this slice, if we had looked at this fill in here, is going to be a rectangle. If you were looking down on it, you would see this rectangle. And the rectangle, this would be 3, and this would be 8. So the area of our slice would be 24. So figuring out our pumping, remember that it's basically force times distance. But force is mass times acceleration. So our acceleration is going to be g and then mass is equal to volume times density so we're going to put the density here and we need the volume which is the area of the slice times by how thick it is which is our little dy so now we need the distance that it's got a pump the pipes up there at 11 and we're going to subtract y because if we look at our picture here how far is it to our slice it's y and we don't have to pump that piece y because we're just pumping that level of water that's up there by y so that's why it's 11 minus y now limits of integration the tank was full of water so we've got to pump from starting at zero and pumping all the way up to six so there's our integral now we can move the 24 out in front and then we've got rho and g which was is our weight density of water so that's 62.4 and then we can go ahead and integrate this 11 minus y and get 11 y minus 1 half y squared and that's evaluated from 0 to 6. So let's go ahead and do that evaluation if we multiply those 24 by the 62.4 we get 14976 and then we've got 66 minus 36 halves which is 18 so that's going to be 48 multiplied by that number in front there and we're going to get 718848 all right I was looking at the calculator and wrote a funny little eight there okay and the units are foot pounds now this was part A. Now let's go ahead and do part B. Part B says how much work is required if we want to pump three-fourths of the water out of the tank. Well, there was six feet of water in the tank, so if we pump three-fourths of that out, or that gives us 4.5, that's how many feet of water we're pumping out. Now we're pumping it out from the top, so if we took the six and we subtracted 4.5 we'd get 1.5 so our um, limits of integration is going to start at 1.5 and pump to 6 you can see that interval there is 4.5 so we'll pump that 4.5 off the top of the tank we still have the 14976 and then we still have the 11 minus y 
dy. So same integral, the only thing that changes is the limits of integration. So we've got our 1, 4, 9, 7, 6. And then when we put in our 6, we got 66 minus 18. And now we need to put in our lower limit of 1.5 and subtract that off. So it's minus 11 times 1.5 plus 1 half times 11.5. All right, so now we can just put that in the calculator. And it looks like we get 488.592 foot-pounds to pump. That's the work to pump three-fourths of the water out of the tank.